Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm going to show you how to get Moron running on your Android phone. Now this game will play at about 100 to 30 FPS, and yes, it's playable from the beginning to start. So to start with, we're going to need two things. We're going to need to go to the internet and go to the GitHub for the Open MW Android port. As you can see, you just click this particular link, and this will download the latest version of the B debug APK. You want to drag that onto your storage device and then we're going to need to do some other things. So we're going to need more Windows data files. So you're also going to need the game with year edition to make sure you have all the DLC. So I have the disk version, you can use the Steam version, you can use a crack, as long as it has all the DLC, you just need the data files, don't worry about it. So we're just going to head to uh, Professor Softworks Program Files 86, this is where my disk version is, and we just need this folder right here, you just need to copy this. I recommend running the code patch to fix some bugs beforehand, not necessarily necessary. Copy and paste that onto your phone. I should see I have already and now you want to edit the folder remove the space and put this line here in the center of it this is to do with the program well the APK not recognizing spaces uh, for various reasons now you've done all that we're gonna exit out of this and we're actually gonna move on to the next steps so I'd recommend ES file browser and you need to browse and find your APK, click on it and click install. Now I'm not going to bother installing it because I already have it installed. Next you're going to need to go to the folder where you copied the data files, highlight it and go more and go properties, copy the full path, close that now open open MW, click here and copy and paste the path in. I've already done it and this is how it should look like, there should be no spaces. Now when you hit OK and you can basically change your on-screen display size for your buttons and everything. You uh, should, I'd recommend if you've got 6 in trim, send your GUI to 2.01. And these settings here are for my OnePlus 5T, it's a pretty damn powerful phone, so let's launch it. So as I said before, it is playable from the beginning to the start. I'm just going to tap this and bring up the FPS count. So we need about 40 FPS. It's not bad. We're running about 75 FPS. Uh, just above 1080. Field of view is 75. I'd recommend turning that down to about 60 to be honest. You're not really going to notice a greatly large field of view on a small phone screen. And now I've got water set to medium and the reflection so it's turned off. It just kills your performance for some reason. I just got the filtering set to 10. The distance set about almost full. I'm going to try and turn it out here, I think. It's going to turn in. We're getting about 60 FPS right now. Uh, 90, 70. So let's go into the mine. We're actually playing for a quest right now. This is a fight school quest. You have to exterminate some um, egg thieves. Now, I actually have a bunch of mods installed. Turn that down a bit. I actually have several mods installed, including a Mercy First Person, uh, a few facial retextures, body retextures, I have better bodies installed, like some weapon mods, and some various other stuff. Now, defaultly, this does not support controller, however, if you use a certain mod, I believe it's a retexture pack, it also adds in a new UI with controller support. What is it? 
Okay, apparently I am... I don't have my favorite sword equipped. I'm using a magic sword for some fucking reason. Just gonna save quickly. Anyway, that's pretty much how to do it. Have fun.